Do you often say things like, I'm so sorry, this is such a dumb question, but, or maybe someone was in a hurry and ran into you and all you say is, sorry, was I in your way? Okay, hold up, that's a bit too much, but do you feel like you apologize for almost everything? Even when you're not in the wrong? Being sorry and apologizing for certain things is an important aspect of being polite. You've been learning about it your whole life, but were you taught about the things you shouldn't apologize for? Why do you do it? According to Juliana Brains, PhD, an assistant professor of psychology at the University of Rhode Island, over-apologizing can stem from being too hard on ourselves or beating ourselves up for things rather than recognizing everyone makes mistakes and no one expects you to be perfect. To remind you that it's okay to not be perfect, here are eight things you shouldn't say sorry for. Number one, for having an opinion. According to Manhattan psychotherapist, Panthea Sadapur, those who over-apologize often feel like a burden to others as if their wants, needs, and thoughts are not important. This feeling can stem from many different roots, one of them being feelings of inadequacy as a result of childhood trauma. Because of that, you may feel ashamed of having an opinion, or maybe you're afraid to openly disagree with someone. But as long as you're respectful towards everyone and don't purposefully insult others, you're entitled to have an opinion. Even if somebody doesn't agree with you, you don't have to change your attitude and values just so they fit someone else's point of view. After all, having and expressing your own opinion is what shapes you as a person. Instead of saying sorry, try saying, I respect your opinion, but I disagree. Number two, for putting your needs first. A family therapist, Kelly Hendricks, says that you might over apologize because you wanna be seen as a good person. Maybe you were praised for putting others first and learned that it's best to sacrifice yourself for others or to think less of yourself. Being kind is something you should definitely strive for, but neglecting yourself is not the way to do it. You might believe thinking of yourself is selfish, but when you think about it, isn't it selfish for others to make you put yourself last? Sometimes everything can get so overwhelming and you just need to take care of yourself without feeling like you're letting others down. Instead of saying sorry, try saying, I need some time for myself, or I'm not comfortable with that. Number three, for turning your phone off. You know when you just wanna watch Netflix without talking to anyone, but your phone constantly rings with messages, notifications, and calls, and you can't get even one second of alone time? And you just wanna turn it off or put it on silent, but you don't wanna be rude by not replying. Taking time for yourself and not being available for a bit is not rude. And everyone needs a break from time to time, including you. So don't feel bad for putting the online world on hold for a bit. Instead of apologizing, say, I'd like to enjoy some alone time tonight. So did you relate to these three points so far? Let us know in the comments. Right now, more people than ever have been struggling with mental health, which is why we're more dedicated than ever to creating more content. If you find this video relatable, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to Psych2Go to show us your support. Number four, for showing your feelings. Things happen that can make you feel a range of emotions. Anger, frustration, fear, extreme happiness, sadness. Having and expressing emotions is what makes you human. But sometimes you may feel like you're being a burden if you express those emotions. You think you're annoying people around you with your feelings and you feel tempted to say, I'm sorry, I don't mean to bother you. As Professor Brin says, when we apologize for feeling hurt or even for feeling passionate about something, we minimize ourselves in a misguided attempt to protect others. Try to remember that no matter what, you have the right to feel and express your emotions. Instead of saying sorry, try saying, I'm struggling and need support. Number five, for crying. Similar to showing emotion, sometimes life gets you down and you just need to have a good cry. Have you experienced feeling better after crying? Like the weight on your shoulders suddenly became lighter. That's how crying can help. But when you're around people and you feel the need to cry, you may feel embarrassed and afraid. What will they think of you if they see your tears? So you try to swallow your tears and start apologizing. But you're not crying on purpose. It's something your body just does, like sneezing or coughing. And just like you, everyone cries sometimes. So if someone wants to judge you, that's their problem. Don't feel like you did something bad if a tear escapes. Instead of saying sorry, try saying, oh, this got me emotional, or I need a moment to calm down. Number six, for the way you look. Have you ever experienced uninvited comments about your appearance? Maybe you dye your hair crazy colors, or have piercings, or a bunch of tattoos. Or maybe you're just too skinny or not skinny enough, or you have a few pimples on your face. Comments like these can make you feel bad about yourself to the point that you feel like apologizing for it. 
Dr. Elena Torini, a consultant psychologist, explains that if you have feelings of defectiveness or perfectionist tendencies, you're likely to feel that you need to look your best at all times. The perception that you don't look good enough can cause a lot of anxiety, so you might fear being judged. But the truth is, nobody should bring you down for the way you look. You are free to express yourself through your style and every little imperfection is what makes you beautiful and unique. So instead of saying sorry, say nothing and own your appearance. Number seven, for not taking other people's advice. How often do the people you're close to give you advice on how to live your life? Your parents think you should find a better job even though you love what you do. Your partner thinks your hobby is boring and suggests you do something else. Your friend thinks your hairstyle is bad, but you like the way it looks. They might get their ego hurt if you don't listen to them because they think they're right and can't comprehend why you wouldn't listen. But why would you? It's your life and your choices. It's okay for them to offer suggestions, but it doesn't mean you have to follow them. Instead of saying sorry, say, I appreciate your opinion. I'll think about it and make my own decision. Number eight, for apologizing. Sometimes you really feel bad for things, whether you're in the wrong or not. Maybe it's because you feel guilty about something or you have a low self-esteem, you feel the need to say sorry. And even if you apologize for the wrong things or apologize too much, that apology is still sincere and comes from the heart. There is always time to better yourself. If you really want it, one day you will gain the confidence that you need to stop apologizing for everything. Until then, remember that not even apologizing is worth an apology. How to stop over apologizing once and for all? You may be wondering, well, what can I do to stop feeling like I need to apologize all the time? Luckily, there are some things you can do to help yourself. First, try to delve deeper. Ask yourself these questions. In the past, who's been unable or unwilling to meet my needs? Am I apologizing out of fear? What have been my experiences with conflict in the past? Would apologizing mean accepting blame that doesn't belong to me? Next, replace the self-defeating thoughts. Psychologist Mary Plouffe suggests transforming self-defeating thoughts by considering these questions. Is there anything useful that can come out of my holding on to this thought? If not, how can I transform it into something I can use to help me? Does it reflect the truth or just my worst fears about myself and the world? If you'd like to, you can share your answers in the comments. And finally, we always strongly advise seeking professional help. Therapy could help you understand yourself better and learn some helpful tools to get your confidence back. Growing as a person is not linear. And even if you find yourself failing, watch this video again as a reminder of why you started and don't apologize for needing a reminder. Do you agree with these points? Do you think you're ready to take control of your life and your individuality and stop saying sorry for the wrong things? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, share it with friends and family. And as always, the references and studies are listed in the description. Take care and thanks for watching. See you next time.